AI questions and answers. What is the difference between AI machine learning and deep learning? AI is the overall science of a computer being able to mimic human behavior while machine learning which is a subset of AI is the science of learning from data to find patterns in them which can be used to predict with new data. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning. Here we are talking of neural networks, kind of artificial representation of how human brain works. It could be used for computer vision, speech recognition, etc. What is machine learning? Machine learning is a technology that enables computers to learn from experience or past data and therefore become adept at predicting outcomes. What is a machine learning model? In the machine learning world, you feed historical data to machine learning process. It examines it to find patterns using various algorithms and outputs a machine learning model. So a ML model is simply a program that has been trained to recognize certain types of patterns. Here's a concrete example. Our training data is a large data set with features or columns like longitude, latitude, humidity, temperature and whether it will rain or not. This data might be of last many years, therefore useful for training our model. Our machine learning process learns from this data. In other words, it figures out whether for a certain combination of values of the feature set, will rain would be true or false. For example, when temperature is low and humidity is high, will rain would be true. In general, larger the training data set, better the learning, therefore more accurate the prediction. What are various machine learning techniques? Learning part in machine learning can be broadly categorized as supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. In supervised learning, input data is labeled while in unsupervised, it is not. And in reinforcement, an agent or a computer program performs actions and learns from positive or negative feedback from its environment. Where would you typically use reinforcement learning? Reinforcement learning is used in dynamic and uncertain conditions where learning occurs through trial and error with feedback from the environment guiding the agent's decisions and actions. You could use it for training autonomous vehicles, developing game playing agents, optimizing robotic control, etc. What are artificial neural networks? Artificial neural networks are computer programs or systems inspired by the way our brain works. They learn and make decisions from data, much like how humans learn from experience. They are made up of neurons and connections between them. What are neurons? Neurons are basic building blocks of a neural network. You can think of them as mathematical functions that processes input data and produces an output. They are connected to other neurons through connections. What is deep learning? Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that employs multi-layered neural networks to process and analyze complex data. Unlike traditional machine learning, which relies on shallow learning and manually extracted features, deep learning automates feature extraction and learns directly from data. This enables more accurate handling of high dimensional data such as images, sound and text. What are hyperparameters in machine learning? Hyperparameters are settings used to configure a machine learning model during its training process. For example, learning rate, number of epochs and batch size. What is overfitting in machine learning? Overfitting occurs when a model learns the training data too well, capturing noise and details that do not generalize to new or unseen data. This results in poor performance on test data. To mitigate overfitting, you can use techniques such as cross-validation, regularization, dropout, early stopping, data augmentation and simplifying the model. What is fuzzy logic? It is a form of logic that deals with reasoning that is approximate rather than fixed and exact, allowing for more flexible decision making. Fuzzy logic is used in control systems, automotive applications, consumer electronics, decision making systems, pattern recognition and healthcare to handle uncertainty and make flexible approximate decisions.
what is the difference between generative and discriminative models a generative model learns to model the distribution of each category of data while a discriminative model focuses on finding the boundaries between different categories typically discriminative models are more effective for classification tasks an example of generative model is variational auto encoders and that of discriminative model is decision tree here's a comparison between the two note the key difference with respect to data generation generative models can generate new synthetic data samples while discriminative models do not generate data but focuses on classification or prediction what are generative adversarial networks this is a type of generative model where a generator creates data samples and a discriminator evaluates them with both networks trained together in a competitive process to improve the quality of generated samples what is generative ai generative ai involves creating new original content such as text images music and other media based on the data the models were trained on examples of generative ai include gpt4 for text generation and stable diffusion for image creation what are large language models large language models are ai models trained on vast amounts of text data to understand and generate human like text enabling tasks such as text completion translation and summarization gpt4 is an example of a llm large language models perform natural language processing tasks using deep learning techniques what is few shot learning this is a method whereby a model learns and performs tasks with only a few training examples it is useful in situations where collecting and training on large data sets is impractical or expensive it enables ai systems to adapt quickly to new tasks or domains with minimal data how do attention mechanisms enhance the performance of deep learning models in natural language processing they allow the model to focus on different parts of the input sequence when generating each part of the output thereby capturing contextual relationships and dependencies more effectively this leads to better handling of long range dependencies and improved performance on tasks like translation summarization and question answering what role does the temperature parameter play in machine learning model inference it controls the randomness and diversity of generated outputs a higher temperature increases randomness making the output more diverse but potentially less coherent while a lower temperature makes the model's predictions more deterministic and focused on high probability outputs